Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Joanna and in this video I'll show you some gorgeous DIYs that are surprisingly easy to make. All of these were made using different types of stickers and they can also be repositioned in case you make a mistake. There are just a few tips and tricks to watch out for which you'll find out in this video. Aside from that, this tutorial is completely foolproof and you can create some amazing pieces without any artistic skill or experience. First of all, we have a rainbow sun catcher. This DIY isn't my idea, but it's something I saw on a viral TikTok video. I really want to give the original creator credit, but unfortunately the video has been deleted and I couldn't find it anymore. So if you know or remember who it was, then please leave a comment down below. To start with, you'll need a geometric glass terrarium. Mine is on the larger side because this was the exact same one that was used in the TikTok clip, but any size or design will work. Then you'll need these two types of window film. This first one is from Rainbow Symphony and it has this amazing shimmery crystal pattern. This design is also described as prismatic etched glass or cracked ice. The second one is called Chameleon Window Film and it features this incredible iridescent effect that's really trendy right now. Despite the product descriptions, none of these two are holographic. This effect is actually called a dichroic or dichromatic rainbow. Window film is basically a giant sticker designed to be applied onto glass. The adhesive is very weak, so you can remove and reposition it anytime. This was my first time working with window film, and I have to say this is an incredibly underrated DIY material. It's so easy to use, and you don't even need any glue or tape. You could easily cover notebooks, phone cases, or even sunglasses with these. To make the sun catcher, you simply need to trace each panel onto the film, then cut it out and trim the shape a bit. Now apply this directly onto the glass and smooth out any bubbles. I found that it really doesn't matter if your film isn't trimmed perfectly, because the final result is transparent, so nobody is going to notice any small gaps or air bubbles. For best results, try to mix up the two different films so they're covering alternating panels. Here's a quick tip to make sure that you don't trace onto the wrong side, in case you're working with asymmetrical shapes. The window film comes wrapped in a roll, and the inside or concave part is always where the adhesive is. So if you're placing the glass onto the window film like this, then always remember to have the curved edges facing up. If you're placing the window film onto the glass, then be sure to keep the curved sides facing down. Of course, if your panel is completely symmetrical, then you can just ignore this and trace on whichever side you want. Window film is very forgiving, so you can easily remove or reposition your pieces, or just start over completely. The final sun catcher looks incredible, and I haven't even seen anything like this sold in shops. If you place this near a sunny window, then the light coming through will create loads of sparkles and rainbows in your room. You could also hold it up to sunlight to create real-life Instagram filters. Another option, of course, is to fill it up with earth and make an iridescent terrarium. I think I'm going to try this, so please follow me on TikTok or Instagram to see the updates. The next DIY are these super cute phone or AirPod cases. I love this 90s inspired aesthetic using tiny kawaii stickers. You can get these transparent AirPod or phone cases very cheaply on Amazon, and both of these cost less than $10. Then you'll need tiny stickers, and I bought most of mine from Blippo, Etsy or Artbox. I've linked the exact ones used in this video below, so be sure to check the description box. 
For best results, you don't want to use more than three or four different sheets of stickers. Otherwise, you're going to have too many themes clashing with each other. You also want to choose a good mixture of designs that have stickers with and without faces. I'm going to use the sheet of pet stickers and some Rilakkuma ones as my face designs, and these gemstones and jelly beans as the non-face ones. And finally, make sure that you choose stickers that contain very small elements as well, like hearts, dots, bows or stars, which are very useful for filling the gaps made by the larger designs. Another thing you might need is UV resin. This sounds complicated, but it's basically a very effective glue. Puffy stickers in particular don't stick very well to silicone, so the resin helps to keep those in place. I'm going to start with this AirPod Pro case. This was actually a bit tricky because of the many curved surfaces, so you want to use the smallest stickers possible. I started from the center and worked my way out. I love the process of finding a sticker that fits perfectly into the gap created by the other stickers. If you're having problems getting some of these to stick, then apply a tiny bit of UV resin and then hold it into sunlight to cure. I'm using Sophie and Toffee's UV resin, and this is so sensitive that it actually starts curing if you're working near a sunny window. The advantage of using resin instead of glue is that you can move the sticker around for as long as you like, and it will harden almost instantly if you hold it in sunlight or under a UV lamp. I find this a lot easier than waiting for glue to dry, and less risky than trying to use hot glue on such a tiny area. Now I've covered everything with stickers, and I'm going to pop my AirPods inside. Just on a side note, AirPod cases are actually a lot less fragile than I thought. Here's a clip of Isabel smashing one against the wall, and it still worked perfectly fine afterwards. But of course, it's still a good idea to keep them protected, and you can really get creative with the case design. Now I'm going to use the same technique on a phone case. This one was much easier because the flat surface helped the stickers stay in place, and I only had to use resin on the very puffy ones. I decided to stay with the same two themes of pets and food. This time, I found a different sheet of jelly stickers, which worked absolutely perfectly for the phone case. The problem with ordering stickers online is that you often can't tell how well they're going to stick to different things. So I used quite a bit of trial and error to find the best stickers for this DIY. For example, I had a lot of problems getting these Jelly Jewel stickers to stay on the AirPod case because they're so brittle. In comparison, the Jelly Food stickers here are incredibly soft and they stick perfectly. Yet both sets of stickers look almost identical if you're just looking at them like this. So I've worked my way down the phone case, and this was so much fun. This DIY is so easy to do, and the final result is adorable. Just like the window film, you can use this method for almost anything such as notebooks, planners, pen holders or trinket boxes. In the middle of a tough year like 2020, it actually feels quite nice to make things with some cuteness and positivity. I hope that many of you are coming out of lockdown now and be able to go back to your normal lives wearing face masks. In Austria, things actually improved very quickly, so they got rid of all the rules, including wearing masks. But unfortunately, the numbers went back up, so as of tomorrow, we have to start wearing masks again. If you want to see more about my everyday life, then please follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and my username is macaroon on both. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.